Taurus, welcome to this weekly Sidero forecast for July 20th through August 2nd. My name is Athen. So we have only a few uh, major things going on this week. One is that we have a full moon uh, here in your ninth house, which is about spirituality uh, in, in the wisdom sense. There is definitely this expansion adventurous energy that should start to kick into gear this week, I would say, especially around Friday of the full moon and things coming to a culmination around that area of your life that has to do with philosophy, expansion, and the spiritual wisdom um, of life in general. So that's going to be the highlight as well as Jupiter squaring up to Saturn this week. Um, that's going to be the major aspect, aspect, especially during the week, the work week. And then um, over the weekend, we have Saturn going station direct in that sixth house, perhaps creating some shifts and changes with that health and routine, which I'll talk about. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the previous weekend because it was quite important. There was a lot of shifts taking place. We had Mars squaring up to Uranus as well as Uranus going retrograde and Venus retrograde um, last weekend going into this week. So hopefully last weekend you got very motivated to uh, make some changes around the financial or material um, side of life and how you can take action with that, maybe in regards to your relationships and the spiritual side of things as well, since Mars does rule those parts of your chart. And um, any new direction that you did set off in with that, that's great. That's a good foundation for this week. Continue to take action with that while reflecting on some of these things about your ideals, your visions, the satisfaction you're getting from your work, um, how you can take more action and work so it is more fulfilling and more enjoy enjoy enjoyable for you, as well as um, you know anything relating to spirituality, which is the case for all of us. So that being said, um, that energy there is shifting as well as any values, reflecting on any values this week, continuing to redo just in general, because Venus is your ruler who'd gone retrograde. So you are in this sort of reflective time period. And right now, perhaps this week, reflecting on home, family, past roots, those parts of your life, as well as maybe the routine and how you can redo some of those things as well, routine or health, or maybe your work, your day-to-day -day work also. So that being said, that's kicking off the week here. It's quite high energy this week with the gibbous phase uh, going into this full moon. And then uh, this one major aspect, Jupiter squaring up to Saturn, will go within a one degree orb on Wednesday. So here it's all about discipline, and that's what the full moon is too. It's in Capricorn, so it's a lot of this discipline energy going into uh, this month in August. So that being said, Jupiter has been expanding your third house of communication, of learning, of reading, of writing, things like that. So anything you've been involved with that for about the past year, um, continuing to expand with that, but now this week in that very disciplined, hard work and responsible way. Because the square from Saturn does suggest that there is um, some hard work to be put into this area while Jupiter finishes this transit, because Jupiter is going to be going into your fourth house um, this month. So last things there with the opportunities to make those opportunities into a grounded reality involving that third house. But your third house is still very much um, in play this month in general uh, because we do have the sun, Mercury, and then soon to be Mars going in there. So definitely a highlight, especially with this full moon aspecting the sun, of course. So that being said, um, one way to look at this too is that you've had uh, recently... Saturn go back into your sixth house of health, routine, diet, regimen. It's very important now to continue to put in that hard work and discipline with that, um, just like it has been. But now um, squaring up to Jupiter, there's opportunities there. Okay, so there's the these two these two areas of your chart, the communications exchanges with the routine can be homogenous. They can be incorporated together, and that's exactly what you want to do: is work hard in both of those areas this week, and you'll find that those opportunities are solidifying. And there's actually a lot you can get done. It's very nice to have an aspect between expansive Jupiter and refining Saturn. So um, here it doesn't seem as, you know, malefic because it's a benefic planet Jupiter aspecting a traditional malefic, but who's exalted because he's exalted in Libra. So this energy is actually quite constructive from what I can see. Saturn's pretty well aspected and so is Jupiter. So uh, constructive energy in either case, working with it, slow and steady kind of energy relating to anything involving that third or sixth house uh, this work week. A, a few things to look at. Um, you can look at Venus, the ruler of that uh, Saturn which gives you a little bit more indication that Venus here reflecting on your values of a uh, home family past redoing some things in that area will facilitate um, a lot of this um, disciplined energy as well as anything that you're expressing or excited about um, as of the past week involving 
that third house of exchanges, communication, siblings, things like that, can further be a sort of avenue since they're the rulers of those signs, sort of avenue for this energy to unlock. A couple of other areas too is that Saturn does naturally rule your ninth house and your tenth house. So maybe there are some things to expand and continue to work on involved you, with your career and philosophy and things like that, especially with this full moon in your ninth house as well. And likewise, with Jupiter ruling your eighth and your eleventh, maybe there's some hard work to be put into well, spending time with groups or networking or your ideals and visions and maybe transformation in and of itself with Jupiter ruling both your eighth and your eleventh house. So those are a few areas, but generally speaking, certainly putting it into third and sixth will be the key, especially with that routine and health, all of that um, will be the high point. So that being said, we have that full moon in Capricorn, which is a good structure and patient energy for all of us, just like you normally are, involving your philosophy and wisdom, which is your ninth house. Putting in that patience here this uh, this weekend, is, uh, fr around Friday, um, will be very important. It, it illuminates this. So you should see things like your life path, astrology, spirituality, philosophy, religion. Uh, travel, adventure, very illuminated now during this full moon and any energy you want to put into that can go very, very nicely because you'll have that awareness and energy to do so. Just make sure, just like with all oppositions, you know, the full moon's no exception to that, is just balance all of this expansive expansive right brain sort of energy with all this busy left brain energy. It's a very busy time now with the practical stuff, communications, exchanges, with all these plants in your third house, but um, seeing the upside, seeing the possibilities and all of that can certainly help expand um, a lot of this uh, busy, rational, practical stuff going on in your third house right now at the moment. So um, also a culmination point with anything you've worked on for the past couple weeks in regards to these things, maybe in regards to the financial or material side of things as well, since the new moon did happen very close to that third house from the second. And um, over the past six months, if there's anything you've been working on with travel, expansion, adventure, overseas matters, um, those things can be coming to a head as well um, this week around Friday. So uh, Saturday and Sunday, sta uh, Saturn goes station direct um, after his very long retrograde period as usual. Here he went back into your sixth house of health, routine, diet, etc. So now anything you've been reflecting on with that or redoing with that day-to-day -day activity stuff or with your work, now Saturn starts to go station direct. And this is where going into next week, um, but this weekend in particular, it's a good time to start to think about and shift how you can really continue to solidify that because Saturn is going to only be in the sixth house for this month then he's going into your seventh for good so um, anything to finish up with work day-to-day -day stuff routine health um, it's a very good month in general to do that and this week can be um, certainly highlighting that especially with Jupiter squaring up to that Saturn so that being said, um, the only major aspect over the weekend Saturday and Sunday other than this Jupiter Saturn is that Mercury will be trining up to Uranus so here, the ruler of your second house uh, and fifth house of expression and the material side of things uh, can be quite nice over the weekend and enjoyable, the simple pleasures in particular. And, uh, you know, mostly through this reflection of how you can, um, you know, expand on your ideals, how you can have more excitement in your work and giving and contributing or being a part of networking, whatever it is, um, can be very much assisting um, these changes that are going to continue to happen with this day-to-day -day practical, very rational part of your chart, the third house. Um, going into next week. So Taurus, have a nice week. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll talk to you all next time.